Hello, Crippen astronauts. This is Miss Ganame. Welcome to week three of art. So you might be wondering why we're working with lines again, if that's what we did last week. In order to create really good art, the first thing we have to do is learn how to control some of the utensils that we use, such as markers, paintbrushes, and pencils. And the best way that we do that is by practicing all the different types of lines. And lines are also important in our artwork because they form the shapes and the textures and the values and all the different things that make art wonderful. The more we practice lines, the better our art will be. So let's get started. So your supplies are simply going to be paper and anything that you can find around the house to color with. Before we begin, let's do a quick recap of all the different types of lines. This one's wavy, bumpy, dotted, looping, zigzag, castle, straight, spiral, diagonal, broken, and then some of my lines repeated. So I did another wavy line. And then this one here, I think this one might be a little bit more challenging. It's called a gestural line. It doesn't really have a pattern to it. I just kind of went with whatever my brain and hand were telling me to do. I didn't have a plan. I just kind of tried to make my hand do different things as it was going from this side of the paper to the other side. So gestural lines don't really have any sort of pattern to them. This is a thick line. Another word for thick is bold. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but I took a pen and I drew a thin line. And at the very end, I used this green marker and I drew a line that was very light. I hardly pressed on it. Do you see that? And then with the same marker, I kept going over here, except I kept going over the same spot over and over again because I wanted it to be darker and darker and darker. So I wanted you to see that even using the same color, you can have one part that's lighter and then the other part that's darker. And in art, we call that value when things are lighter and darker. So now that we know what different types of lines there are, we're gonna go ahead and get into our lesson for today. I want you to think of three words that describe who you are. And I want them to be kind words, like don't say anything mean about yourself. And if you're not sure, please ask somebody, maybe a friend. I know my friends tell me that um, I'm funny, creative, and kind. What we're gonna do today is using your name and three words that describe you, we're gonna use that in combination with our name to create some really cool line art. Always feel free to pause the video at any time to help you keep up. The first thing I did was I drew three horizontal wavy lines across the paper. And then at the top line, I wrote Sally, then I wrote funny, then I used creative, and then kind. I wanted to first go ahead and make that line, and then I'm gonna work with each letter individually to outline it, because I want it to be thicker. I don't want it to just be one thin line. I mean, you could do it that way, but I think I think I like this idea better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace this line, or trace the letter first, okay? And then I'm gonna make it thicker by kind of doubling the line. So I'm gonna create a little horizontal stroke right there, and then I'm like gonna double it. Notice how I stay parallel to the original line. Okay. And it's okay if it hits this line right here, it's fine. We can just come up from the other side. So there's that. Now what you can do is you can color this in. Notice how my letter S touches the top of the, the paper and it comes all the way down and it touches this line, this wavy line right here. That's okay if it looks like it got cut off, that's okay. It doesn't, there is no room for perfection in art class. Anytime we make a mistake or if we think we wish we could have done it a different way, well, we just keep going and give it, giving it ourselves a, ch a chance at least finishing it. So now I'm gonna try this letter A, same thing. I'm gonna trace it first. And then I'm gonna double the line. So I'm gonna double this part here, color it in. Double this line right here, color that in. Now I want my letter L 
I want it to look like a capital letter. But if I just do this, if I just do this, it won't look capital. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this part of the wavy line as part of the L. So I'm going to, see that? Now that looks like a capital letter L. Okay, so for the rest of the way on this part, I'm gonna finish it in time lapse so it doesn't take forever, okay? Be right back. Now it's time to add some um, creative lines and coloring to it. Let me show you how. So you remember all the different lines that we reviewed earlier in uh, the video? Well, we're gonna put some of those to use right now. The white part on the page is the negative space and the letters and the lines are the positive space. So in the negative space, which is the white areas, the blank areas, we are going to draw some uh, lines or fill with color. I'd like to see a combination of both just to make things interesting and to add variety. Now, I'm gonna focus again on this space right here. Notice how from the edge of the paper, inside of the S from here and then up to here, this is all one section, okay? So using this one section, I'm going to create some art lines in there. So I'm gonna use it doesn't matter what color you choose here. Okay, but I'm gonna create a wavy pattern here. And the fun part is, it doesn't matter what lines you choose. It's gonna be your neat design. Now I'm not gonna keep going through the S because this space is not the same as this. These two spaces are separate. But, This part right here is connected because you see there's a, an opening of white right there. So I'm gonna consider these kind of the same space. It's almost like if it were water, the water would flow in here, which is interesting because I'm using wavy lines even though they're not blue. I'm gonna try some diagonal lines at a time. Okay, so there's some diagonal lines for that. Maybe over here, I'll use some looping lines. This might be hard to see because yellow is such a light color. If you don't want to watch this whole thing in slow motion, just know that, or in regular speed, I'm going to go ahead and time lapse. But I just want you to know that at this point, let your creativity shine. I want you to pick all different kinds of lines. And if you want to color in some areas solid, that's okay. If you don't have markers, use crayons. If you don't have crayons, use highlighters. If you don't have highlighters or anything to color, use your pencil. Anything goes, okay, friends? All right, let's go time lapse now. Teachable moment. My color pencil broke, so I grabbed the lid and continued to color with it while it was on the tip of my finger. In art class, these kinds of things happen. When our supplies um, break or something goes wrong, we have to make good with the situation that we have. We can't always start over or get new supplies. So also our minds might change as we are progressing through our artwork. If you notice here on the word funny, I chose to do some color blending instead of some line work. I just felt like I wanted to go with it and that's what happened. So I've gotten this far so far. For the word kind at the bottom, I think I want to mix it up with a little bit of color and some zen tangling. Zen tangles are basically patterns made with lines. So I'm going to demonstrate a few here and then if you want to give it a try on your art, go ahead. You might have seen this pattern before.
the, um, each section, each area of negative space is gonna have its own unique pattern. So here is the finished product. Uh, remember, for art class, it's supposed to only take 30 minutes per week. So I realized that on this particular lesson, you may not get very far. I do at least want you to have the letters written out like this in bold and uh, all the letters done. And if you can at least start adding some um, line patterns like how I have in my first name here, that, that will work guys, um, 30 minutes per week is about all we can afford right now for art, PE, and music. So I don't want to burden you guys with something that seems like it would take two hours. That's not the goal. Just enjoy the project, take a picture of what you've got in Canvas if you finish it great. If not, that's okay. So I want you to enjoy it and I can't wait to see what you show me. Bye bye, see you next week.